The World Harmony Run was founded 25 years ago. And for 25 years, we have been running around the world to more than 100 countries to offer a message of peace and friendship. And we are delighted that now, with the Olympic Games here in London, we can share those ideals with people from all over the world. Everybody here is invited today to share, to create a moment of peace. Our university is committed to trying to achieve the greatest happiness for everyone, and that means that the, we must face the greatest challenge of how we can move somehow towards peace. We here have more than 150 different countries represented in our student body and 100 different countries represented in our staff body. And we believe profoundly that it is this cultural diversity, this scientific methodological diversity, which makes us strong. Thank you everyone for being here. It's a great opportunity to be here at the University College of London in Camden. And my husband, Al Order, was a great friend of the gurus because he believed in harmony. And no one lived a better life like Al, being humble, kind, of great character and integrity. And he started Art of the Olympians to teach our children that it's not always about winning, but it's about being at your best in all aspects of life. And when you go in and see the art on the walls in there, it exposes our Olympian soul. Uh, it's wonderful uh, to be here in this beautiful city, London. Uh, this was my first ever trip in the early 60s of competing. It was, this was my first trip and I jumped at the Crystal Palace. And I'd like to just say to the great man who really symbolizes peace and love, uh, who has done just about, and even more than uh, the great Jesse Owens in, in, in many, many ways and times and distance, I'd like to just say to you, Carl, you the man. <laughs> you the man. And so I'd just like to just say, um, it's been beautiful uh, here, and uh, I'd just like for you to see the wonderful uh, uh, paintings and artwork of our great Olympians. And we're trying to get uh, our new uh, recruit in, uh, which would be Carl Lewis, and we'd like him to s sing a song so we can put it in our museum. But anyway, God bless you. <laughs> see you later. So today, the highlight of our ceremony will be the unveiling of this statue here, a statue that represents all the visionaries of the past, of the present, and of those yet to come. And it is our honor to thank Carl Lewis, Tegla Larup, and Tatiana Lebedeva, the three Olympians who will offer this statue to our city of London. Right now, some, a team of World Harmony Runners are arriving. The World Harmony Run runs every year to many different countries to encourage individuals all over the world that everybody can take a step for peace. Everybody, from the ch youngest child to the oldest person, can take a step for peace and offer their will, their love, their, their devotion to peace to the world. This is the greatest tribute which each one of us can offer to Sri Chinmoy and all the great Olympians 
and renowned peace leaders who have gathered together today. I'm so happy that during this ceremony, a beautiful new statue entitled World Peace Dreamer will be dedicated of Sri Chinmoy holding the peace torch from the worldwide peace run which he founded. This is a powerful and inspiring legacy from the London Olympic Games for all of London to treasure for generations to come. I've held this torch on several occasions and I invite each one of you to take the torch of peace and run and run and run. The vision of Sri Chinmoy is the vision of spiritual aspiration and self-transcendence, of prayer and meditation, of truth-seeking and God-loving, of the inner journey and selfless service, of running and becoming. It is a vision that is destined to help illumine the world in the new millennium and finally make peace an all-pervading reality. You know, I, I'm, I'm so happy to be here, but, but I think what's more important, I'm happy in the time I live in. Um, I'm, I had an Olympic career and I had a wonderful opportunity to, we talk about these wonderful luminaries. My parents knew Dr. King and they raised us with that strong vision of doing what you think is right, standing for what you believe in and knowing that you're going to, many times going to be attacked for it. But everyone can't stand up and make a difference in a way that some people can. But everyone can be a part of that change. Years ago, a good friend of mine, Nardo Michael Walden, you might have um, heard of, a great musician introduced me to Sri Chinmoy. And the thing I remember so much about meeting Sri Chinmoy, he, he was always inspiring people, always challenging people. He was a kind that said, Come on over here. And he'd, give you, he'd get his ear. He says, I want you to run a marathon. I'll see you next year. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I haven't even run 100 yards yet. <clears throat> and then guess what? He'd be at the starting line ready to run a marathon with you. In Seoul at the Olympics in, two, in 1988, with Sri Chinmoy, went to every single Olympic Games, was there at every single Games. After 100 meters, he said, you're not supposed to look over to the side. The, the finish line is straight ahead. You don't look in the side. You're running this 200. So when the 200 was over, I saw him, and he said, you were looking. I said, no, I didn't. He said, come here. He showed me pictures when I looked. <laughs> That's Sri Chinmoy. This is a day that we can all say we were part of something special, and we all helped do it. So the message that Sri Chinmoy always said was about world peace. Didn't just talk about it. He did it. And he said, I'll be a leader. Just take my hand and let's go. So it's such an honor for me to be here with everyone and all the people that have been a part of his life and our lives and how much he's meant to all of us and how much he still drives us and means to us. So this will be an honor for me to be a part of this, this, this celebration and event today. And I'm so happy and I can't wait to see the art. And Bob, by the way, you know, I put my vocal chops down. I'll figure something else out. Won't be art because I can't even draw a stick, man. But we'll do something because we can all do something. So let's start today and continue today of doing something. And that something is bringing our world together through peace. Thank you. Baroness Flather saw something in Sri Chinmoy when she first met him. And she always welcomed him to this country. And she arranged for him to come to the parliament building here in London and she has supported him in all the efforts, particularly here in Great Britain, that he tried. So I'd like to welcome to the stage our dear friend, Baroness Srila Flather. <laughs> now, as they prepare to unveil the statue before they do, could I please welcome to the stage two our two great Olympians, or two, there are many great Olympians here, but if Bob Beeman and Tegla Larup would like to join us on stage. Tegla held the women's 
marathon record for two, two full years. She's a wonderful runner and a peace advocate. May we also invite to the stage, and I'm afraid you don't know this is going to happen, but we would like you uh, to represent London here today. So could I invite all the mayors of boroughs of London, deputy mayors and leaders of council, councils here in London. We are so grateful that you have come to this occasion, and we would like to invite you on stage while Carl and Baroness Strida Flather unveil the statue. So please, councillors, deputy mayors, mayors, anyone representing a borough of London, please come to the stage. So now we will unveil the World Peace Dreamers. So if you could stay on stage, we would like our singers now to offer uh, a song, a song written by Sri Chinmoy on the theme of peace. It's called A Moment's Peace. lot of people who just you meet them and you know that they have nothing to offer you and that is one of the reasons why I so admire Sri Jinmoy. The very first time I met him I saw the warmth, the humanity and the desire to spread love actually. I thought he oozed goodness. All the time one is, was with him there was goodness coming out of him. And uh, I must say that I found him a very, very wonderful person. And I am a cynic, and I'm not terribly spiritual, but he was a very, very inspiring person. And uh, I'm very proud to say that he liked me, <laughs> which, always, which always makes it easier. He spoke in the, in the House of Commons, he came to tea with us in the House of Lords. Then we had, I also had uh, a really wonderful time with the Harmony Run uh, group who came up to the House of Lords. So altogether, I've had a very good relationship with uh, the people who are around Sri Chin, who were around Sri Chinmoy, and particularly been fortunate enough to have known him. But the main thing about him was, I think, was that his personality, his warmth, his humanity, and his desire to spread goodness around him. Thank and you I very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know how well or how long my father knew Sri Chinmoy in a personal friendship or that kind of a relationship. I do know that their hearts met, that their souls met, that they connected in a very profound way. As people who know, who love, who worked for peace in a very real way. And for each of us, we can walk away from this gathering with the recognition that each of us has the capacity to make the world a better place. I did not have the honor of meeting Sri Shinmoy, but it is very apparent and obvious that his spirit is present on today. And there, there was indeed a kindred spirit between he and my father and also my mother. We will need more peacemakers. So my hope and prayer is that this wonderful statue will ignite. It will inspire generations, even yet unborn, to become peacemakers. And the more peacemakers we have, then all of the other forces will have to be at bay. In 1936, my father, Jesse Owens, became known as a super athlete, as many of you know. This had been a long journey from the cotton fields of Alabama, the schoolyards of Cleveland, Ohio, and the Horseshoe Stadium at The Ohio State University. It was this journey that made him truly appreciate his good fortune and his belief in the basic good in people all over this diverse world. It was in this spirit that the Jesse Owens Foundation was established 32 years ago. In November 2002, Sri Chen Moy graciously accepted the Jesse Owens Humanitarian Award for his lifetime efforts in world peace. I believe that our lives are defined by connections to others in essence, we are one family. Embracing this connection is what it means to be truly and fully human and is a moral and sp spiritual imperative to strive to make a difference in other people's lives. The World Peace Dreamer statue will serve as a constant reminder to world visitors that world peace can be achieved if we meaningfully connect with our fellow man on a daily basis and embrace the belief that there is inherent good in all men. It's just amazing. You just remind all of us of the simplicity of life. And sometimes I feel if we did nothing else but simplified our lives, we would probably begin to understand the likes of Sri Shinmoy. My experience with him was pretty simple, yet profound. We spoke and we spent, I want to believe, a day together. And for some reason, he understood my pain. And between the two of two men, Mr. Mandela and him on the other side, I felt embraced. I want to begin by telling you that 
There's such gratitude in my heart. I met Sri Chimwe through my father, yet another blessing. I had one of the most awesome experiences with him ever. I received one of his spiritual liftings. And I have to say from that day forward that life has never been the same. I miss him dearly. But I'd be foolish if I became sad because when I look out into this audience and all the beautiful faces that are here, I see the expression of his love, his happiness, his wisdom. I am so honored that I was called to come and speak today. So I figured the best thing I could do was just come and um, truly share with you from the inside, deeply, with gratitude, the immense gifts that I've been given and hopefully help you see yours and continue to share. May God bless and enrich all of you, and thank you so much. Your guidance 